Hey everyone, um, welcome back to Minecraft, again. So, I've been doing some grinding off screen. You probably saw that the video where I destroyed this entire hill was uploaded. But you, may have you may not have watched it, and you know what, that's bad. What's the blast radius on this? That big, huh? This isn't a very dramatic explosion, I notice. Anyway, I decided to stop here in the video because I had already made a good headway into it. But, honestly, I could have kept going. Which, I am doing now. Not really a controlled explosion, per se. I mean, I guess it's controlled for a given value of control. So, I'm getting further and further into Minecraft. Um, the Nether update just came out, and I've decided to not update, because I wanted a classic feel in Let's Play, which includes these now outdated mechanics that I like. Um, what else am I doing? Am I recording? Sure I am. My audio doesn't look like it's clipping either, so that's good. Um, as you may have seen, or may not have, I essentially did a hard reset to my chicken machine. Um, I now only have two chickens in there. And uh, they will be the breeding stock that gives me all further chickens. I hope. Alright. I'm just harvesting my berries now. I realized I wasn't saying anything. I was like, quick, be a let's player. Just say the blinkeringly obvious. I keep noticing that I have shows wherein I don't just... I just don't have enough to say. You know what? I hate that. I hate not being able to say things. My Iron Golem farm still isn't up and running. Um, if I ever do a Season 2 of Minecraft, I will build half the things I built in creative into a normal world and then just set my game mode to uh, survival afterwards, because... I don't want to build all, all this again. Um, especially since it would essentially just be a continuation of a show that I already started. And what I really want, would want out of a season two, is just the ability to go to the new nether. When I feel up for that. For some reason I decided to build a bunch of stuff in cobblestone. I'm now working on a tower. Which is what I guess I'll be doing this time. Or not a tower. Chaos. I've got feather falling on my boots, so naturally fall damage is negligible. What else have I done? I can go up so right. Yeah, cool. I wanted to be able to get stairs up to the, uh, to the city of this. Crunch. Well, there you go, my kneecaps. Didn't need those anyway. I'm gonna bust the heck out of my boots, I sense. Recently saw a zombie baby riding a sheep. I didn't even know that could happen. I knew that uh, they could ride chickens. Didn't know that they could get on sheeps. Decided to have a small inner wall and then a large... No, a small outer wall and then a large inner wall. Don't exactly know why. Yeah, uh, sure. 
I'll stop here because that's where the wall stops for now. often go with things scattershot, including my own life and channel. That's why I'm uploading like six different Let's Plays at a time. I originally had a schedule written on a big whiteboard in my uh, bathroom, but um, that, uh, that whiteboard still says May. Now granted, I do record these a little in advance, but let me tell you. May is a couple of months outdated, even as I record this. It's in a really, really like ramshackle, chaotic wall, you know? Like, you don't know what you're gonna get out of it. It's on my cobblestone beside the stack. And then I'm also working on the giant super fortress. And then I'm also flattening this whole area out. Don't need that. I'm sorry. No, no. I've done a few villager raids, um, as you may be able to see by the meanders I have up. And I started to remove an entire level out of the hill my house is built on, but in a way that makes it look like the the, the like house itself is just an extension of the tower. Okay, so let's get some junk out of my inventory. Cobble, andesite, bones. I don't really need these right now because I'm in peaceful. Yes, I'm playing in peaceful. I'm a baby. I'm a big, dumb coward. What do you say, chickens? Oh, there we go. You have to, like, charge them up, I guess. Okay, that's, that's cool. That's cool. These out of here. I have a very, very small farm that just automatically makes sugar cane here. It doesn't work great, I will say. In fact, I don't know if it does work. It's creating of sugar cane might just be a beautification, you know. Just to make sure my house feels like a home. How far back does this go? Two blocks from here. Okay. I really do like having a dirt house that's just so... What's the word I'm looking for here? Obsequious? Eventually, this whole thing might get flattened, like this whole area is built up, this might get flattened down to sea level, which is 63. And you can see the middle coordinate there is Y, the Y coordinate. Here at the top of this hill is 70, 
75, yeah. Oh, I guess the chest isn't one full block then. I mean, I guess I knew that, but... So yeah, taking this down another nine blocks would be pretty big of an undertaking, I'm guessing. Like, the hill over yonder where I'm just demolishing the whole thing is already taken a while, and I've only taken it down a few, and it gets longer every layer because, you know, hills as they as they are wont to do get longer and wider. Basically, there's no way to win against nature. But, you know, this is my cross. Yeah, there we go. Oh, brother. Gotta say, I'm not sure how I feel about berries. They're really easy to harvest in picks and uh, plant more of, but... Man. So now I'm just running to... Oh, I think that's pretty good. Or what? Um, I'm running to uh, the fortress I'm building at, at around zero, zero. It's going to be mostly made of, uh, I guess, monochrome colors. Gray, black, white. Well, that's all my torches. Eagle Eye viewers may have noticed that I have, in fact, destroyed at least one river. There's one long river that sweeps through the back of that village out from the ocean, and I filled it all with dirt. I just filled the entire river in with dirt. Anything that wasn't dirt I left unfilled, so there's just these little puddles here and there. And now I'm doing it to this. I just want a flat wall. You know, it's not that I want to play on, like, the creative world where it's literally flat. I just want a world that's easier to navigate and get around in. You know? I just want a flat wall. But I also need things to be uniform, so I can't just cover up sand with dirt. Because what if I need that sand? I will. I'm building a big old dang concrete fortress. Yeah. I also filled in a lake over that way. That way. Not this lake, but another lake. I've got to say, my attempts to burn down a whole forest are stifled by this rain. It's like my attempt, it's like every time I get out the flint and steel, just incoming rain. Yeah, I think a lot of this was mostly water. Yeah. Nice. And look, little things like this, these are annoying. I hate these. Just little divots in the world. God's little mistakes, you know? I'm just... I just clicked my teeth together really hard. Oh, karma. I'm just smoothing the world out, you know? There's a lot of mistakes in random generation. I'm just making it better. this. Possibly an infinite water source I used at the time. Alright. Hello, horse. Horse would be a good name for a horse. Why does no one do that? I just smooth it out, you know?
One time we had to cancel a uh, tabletop session midway through the session because my cat got sick. Um, so we had to, like, stat drive him to the vet at about 11 at night real, real quick. Um, but he was fine. It turns out he has cat anxiety. Um, I'm sure some of my watches will remember it as they were there, and I'm mostly watched by my friends. But, uh, yeah, he's fine. He just has cat anxiety. But, like, me too, buddy. He ain't special. So I had to force feed him some medicine. He did not like taking that. He would do his best to just, like, puke in front of me. And it, and it would never be real puke. It was just him spitting in a really gross way. Just absolutely feral. I had a point here at some point. Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, when we got back from the vet, everyone was still there because they hadn't disbanded. Because, you know, let her die and stuff. But we didn't really want to continue the session because we were all just, like, emotionally strung out. And so we were like, you guys want to watch Bob Ross? And so we all just watched Bob Ross. I've got to say, Bob Ross on Twitch is great, if only for the FGC getting a hold of Bob Ross. I love, I absolutely adore seeing Bob Ross just throw some haphazard stroke on a painting. And then you see all the poggers in chat, and everyone loses their mind and starts screaming, It's ruined! And then he totally saves it, because of course he does. He does it every time. It's Bob Ross. He can improve the Mona Lisa. Mostly because the Mona Lisa is pretty boring. And, but yeah, and then everyone sees him just rescue this painting, and they're all like, It's saved! I want it to be flatter, but I also don't want to make it too high. Because the land shouldn't be, and granted, it's land that I built, but the land shouldn't be the beautiful part of this. The beautiful part should be my tower. The big super castle I'm building, that is. And there goes the rain. Do 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 do. Fill this in, and then let's move up there. Gotta, gotta say, it's really hard to always remember to just lean right into the mic. Like, I should basically be kissing this thing for how much I actually need to remember to speak into it. Still got my aches from my grinding sesh. Oh boy, I'm really doing this again, huh? There we go. I reach my hand up to scratch my face, you might hear my my wrist crack. I've got um well I call it carpal tunnel, but I'm pretty sure it's actually Olar Tunnel. Which is similar but different. It's just uh, different bones get affected. Although it might have migrated into just being regular carpal tunnel. You know? I learned a lot about bones in college, so I think I might know what I'm talking about, but then again, who knows. I haven't looked at the map in a while. I wonder if this forker shows on it. I need to go around to my other uh, towers at the ends of the world and see if those are canonized on the map yet. Terraforming, huh? It's mind numbing. Well, this is what you gotta do. I'd like to get every achievement. Achievement. Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Achievement. Is my Kaba showing, or am I just stupid? I would like to get every achievement in Minecraft before I like even think about starting a new world. And you know what? Next episode, I'm actually gonna make 
my way towards the end. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Um, I'm notoriously frugal, so I'm actually just going to find the end in my creative world, which is the same seed as this one. And I know that's cheating, and I don't care. I don't want to just run there on foot. I'll get to take my new sword. I'll have to find more Endermen now, that's going to be annoying. I found the uh, blazes in that fortress. That place. Fortresses are where blazes live. So I don't actually need any of that, any blaze rods or powder, but I will need a lot of ender pearls, and I do not have many of those. I spent one on an ender chest, and then I think I have five sitting around at home. Also just such a pain in the buttock to kill endermen. You know, just... I'm really not sure how I feel about Minecraft's final boss. I'm glad that Minecraft does have a final boss and a sense of progression. I just think that it's kind of handled sloppily. I still have no idea about that end poem. The one that's in the credits. Is that even still in the game? I haven't, like, beaten Minecraft quote unquote in a while. Oh, geez. So right here is one layer above sea level, and then this is sea level. And then so the actual starting line for this fortress is 69, nice, and then this one is 70. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. So someone do something very interesting. They used green concrete powder to simulate uh, grass, and they had an all like synthetic world essentially, or base, I guess. Oh yeah, I gotta fill this in big time. Trenches like this always make me wonder if, like, somehow a ravine essentially spawned on the surface. Because ravines can spawn at different layers, and, like, sometimes they spawn in a way that just makes them look like big valleys. Sometimes they are, like, so deep underground that you can't even see them. Sometimes it just looks like they fall into a lava pool, and then the whole thing just becomes lava. <laughs> I've gotten you, sheep. Boop. Everything in there? Okay. I'll fill this back in because I actually didn't want to dig that. Right, I think that should be flat enough. Nope, it won't be. Uh, it's kind of irritating that my zero zero is partially in a snowy biome. I I hate building in snowy biomes unless that's the point. You always get snow all over your creation. You have to find like some way to get it off, or just dig it off every couple of every couple of every. It's just a big pain in the ass. I mean, but I'm not supposed to swear in this series because it's supposed to be one of the few that my brother can watch. Although I've only just recently told my father about it, and I did that very very spur of the moment. 
because he was asking me what I was in the process of doing with my life, and I was like, uh, don't say nothing. Uh, should I see you? Should I talk? I decided to tell him. What the heck? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. What the? One, two, three, four, five. Right, okay, so I just missed it. No, that ain't right. This is the wrong one. Now, if I actually remember correctly, I think it takes something to be like 9 by 9 to show up on a map. Which means that these little five wides won't show up on that. Hmm. We could fix that though. First of all, let's finish this out and then let's go get a map. And the rest of my concrete. Actually, let's finish this out, and then let's head home and, and end the episode. I will examine it off camera, and if the decision needs to be made to expand this thing dramatically, then I will do so, and next episode will be me going to the end. Or going to the fortress. I'll do the fortress on camera, and then the end will be the next episode. That's everything. Ah, uh, what the hey. I'll actually go and get a map and look at it now. How long have I been recording? 27 minutes. I always want to avoid doing longer episodes because I know that YouTube hates it and my own attention span hates it. Like, I, I can't watch my own content uh, unless I'm doing something else because I legitimately get too bored. Um... But, you know, my mission statement was pretty much to make content you put on the background. In some cases, explicitly. Oh, that looks pretty rad. I can't wait to get this fortress going. I'm going to have it lead to my other fortress. Oh, yeah. Um, I might have shown it in the others, but I actually have built uh, a few more... Mob grinders, essentially. I'm not very good at building them, um, so I kind of wish I could just have a little more reliable sources of stuff. Um, got a zombie farm, which just seems to really crank out a whole bunch of, like, guts. Like, zombie guts. Alright. What the heck are all the maps? Let's put this away. Fly a little away. Okay. Miscellaneous. Oh yeah, my shield broke. I need that. Exactly have a gub's chest. Is it this? No, that's my mob drops chest. My saddles. My food. That's not supposed to go in there. Neither is that. There and that. The rest of these are fine. Here. Definitely need that stuff, especially if I'm gonna make this that much bigger. Let's get these eggs in there. Hmm. I 
Oh, I know what happened. I think the map must have burned up in mine. Yeah, the map burned. What's this? Yeah, I remember now. I started playing this on Minecraft Bedrock instead of Java, because I had to buy a new copy. I actually think I still own Minecraft Java, but I've forgotten my password. A long time ago, in fact, I forgot my password. And I'm just... I'm still enjoying it. It's miraculous, you know? That this version of the game is still that good. All right, all right. Okay. Zero, zero. Wow. <laughs> that actually looks pretty great. And this is the smaller map, so it won't show the corner, the, the towers on the corners. That looks really great, though. I can't wait. Oh, that's really good, actually. <laughs> oh, man. That's, in fact, great. Oh, I know what we're doing. Time to waste more time. I'm always running out of torches. And wood. I'm not good at making, like, farms, like with TNT or anything. So I always have to go manually get my stuff. Ugh. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm also considering just going into creative so I can fix the village reform over there because I've already spent multiple weeks on it. Getting on my noibs. You know how it is. Alright. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That's so great. Oh, man. Right. That's uh, that's this episode of Minecraft, everyone. Thanks for coming by and checking in. Uh, I've been Alfred. And... Yeah? Love you.